Hey everyone, it's Rhonda here from Flowers More by Rhonda, and I just wanted to share a little idea that hit me the other day. Uh, as a lot of folks know, I do a lot of decorating for events and parties, so uh, I have a wedding coming up here in the next few weeks, and uh, one of the things that I'm going to be using uh, in addition to uh, other centerpieces are these uh, little votive candles. And uh, these are great to use because, you know, you get your lighting and it makes a nice, soft, subtle touch at the table. So, uh, one of the colors that is in the uh, uh, theme of everything is silver, uh, along with a couple other colors. But uh, I ordered these fabulous frosted votive cups online in bulk. And I knew that I wanted to add uh, some of this cool mesh bling that you can find at Gone Artsy on Zibit, and um, I thought, well, hot glue doesn't work very well with glass, and I thought, man, I don't want to sit in E6000 all these, you know, because that's going to take some time, so I thought, you know, what if I tried my score tape, and uh, this is some really awesome stuff, and you can any of the double-sided sticky tapes are absolutely fabulous, but this was what I have on hand. And all I did was <clears throat> I just quickly applied this, and it was so simple. So if you do uh, stuff like this, or if you're going to be a bride and you're doing it all yourself, um, I just simply took my score tape, and I didn't go quite to the lip of the votive cup. I came just under it a little. And the reason for that was because this, what I have on hand, it's not quite as wide as my mesh bling that I measured uh, and wanted, personally. Uh, so I figured if I dropped this down just a little, and then all I did was overlap that some, and I'll show you what I did next. Um, that way, as I ran it around, the tape would run center and hit both sides of the strips that I have cut and make it a lot more stable. So all I did was I just barely overlapped that some and then I'm going to take that off and then I'm just going to lay that down where I've overlapped it like so and then I want to take my piece that I have cut. Now I run that again like I said right up close to the lip so then that way, and I know that makes it hard to see, if you can probably see the tape, just a hint of it, and then when I lay this down, it's hitting the strip right in the middle, so that way the tape is adhering underneath both sides that I have cut. And then I just take it, now I don't put too much tension on it as I'm running it around because I don't want it to, uh, which I learned that, uh, with the first couple that I did, uh, it causes it to kind of go crooked a little, and I don't want that. So, there we go. Easy, quick and simple, fun little decoration. Now, if you don't want to do it at the top, you can do them around the center. You can even just do the bottoms, or you could do like a single strip at the bottom, or you could do the double strip too. That's really cool. I like that. It's whatever you want to do it. Or you can do the center and make your strip wider. Just a fun little easy quick craft to uh, for you know simple decorating. And if you are on a budget and yet you want to have something you know very nice on your reception tables, that just uh, you know adds a little more character. So because there's a lot of brides out there now doing a lot of stuff on their own. Uh, due to costs, and hey, I am 100% for the all-time DIY bride. Love them. And again, you can find this at the uh, uh, Gone Artsy Shop on Zivit, and I'll have the link below. And it does come wider. This is just what I have left um, from cutting and everything else. So, and the cool thing also, you can take these off, you know, um, and, and change out the colors. You know, if somebody's having a purple wedding or a blue wedding. Uh, or colors, you know, for their, in their weddings, you can take those off and just change them out, and then you've already got them pre-measured for a different wedding. 
and I'm sure that the score tape, of course, now this I don't know because I'm just doing this. Uh, I'm sure you can get quite a bit of usage out of this. And then if you had to remove it to start over, either go back around right over that tape. Uh, maybe a couple times you could do that. Or I would try the undo, which is a fabulous, uh, it's great at removing glue, it's, you know, um, I'm pretty sure this double sided sticky tape would be too, or the uh, uh, Goo Gone would also be great. So, and um, yeah, there you go. Fun little simple trick, and I want to show you all something else that I did with my score tape. Um, since I have been out, and I haven't done a lot of crafting here lately, uh, we've been doing a little bit of work on my craft room. Uh, because uh, some of y'all may know that I had surgery. I uh, get this stuff out of the way so I can show you. I got my uh, mat out that was buried. My heat resistant mat because I know I wanted to put it over here where I did a lot of work. And all I did was I applied some on my double sticky mat, which I've got my mat over that way too far. I need to go that way with it some, but I just went around all the edges and then uh, I went through the center as well. And I think I applied some this way or this way. But anyhow, uh, and stuck it to, and this is a hard plastic table. And um, that way I can, you know, work from here and not mess my table up. So, yeah, if you've not, so this way it doesn't scoot. Because this thing on this plastic was very slippery. So, and another cool thing you can do with score tape that I've done, and this is for my no sew friends. Uh, get your roll of this. Yeah, they have the stitch witch. I do know of that. But that's more permanent, uh, I think. Uh, again, I don't sew. This is great if you need a doctor or a hem if you're out of town. Uh, if you've got somewhere you have to go and you've pulled your pants out of the closet and or your skirt or a dress and your hem is loose and you really want to wear that and you do not have time, if you are a sewer and if you're not a sewer and you can't get it to your seamstress quick enough to get it fixed, hey, a piece of this, however long you need to do it, will hold your hem up, get you through the evening. Great. Uh, I will throw this in my suitcase just in case I have an issue while I'm, you know, away for a few days. So, this is some pretty awesome stuff, ladies and gents. So, if you've not thought of that, there's your tip. If you have, hey, your inspiration flowed through to me. All right, till next time, y'all. Have a great day. Happy crafting. And until next time, bye.